Hey everybody, it's me, LaRasha, Goddess Queen, Just Me, 23, and this is going to be another Zodiac sign reading. And Pisces, you are up, so this is going to be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Or if you're a cross-watcher and you're dealing with somebody that has strong Pisces in their chart, this is for you as well. Or if you were just guided to this video and you don't have Pisces in your chart or you're not dealing with anybody that has Pisces in their chart, there may be messages in this video for you too. Um, keep in mind that this is a general reading. It's not a personal reading, so it may not resonate with everybody. If it does resonate, please leave comments, subscribe to my channel, as well as like my video. If it does not resonate, try your um, moon sign and your rising sign, which is your ascendant sign in your birth chart. In order to get your rising sign, in your, which is your ascendant sign, you have to have your name, the time you were born, the location, as well as your date of birth. If you don't have all four of those, that piece of information, you'll still be able to get your sun sign, your moon sign, and I say pay attention to your Venus as well as your Mercury. Um, if it does resonate, leave comments, subscribe to my channel, like my video, as well as share. Um, keep in mind that the cards that I use in my decks have already been shuffled, so I'm going to go ahead and cut them on camera. If you're interested in purchasing any of these cards, you can go to the description box of this video. And in the, des the description box, it will list the name of the cards as well as the Cafe Astrology link um, where you can get your birth chart. Also, just want to say thank you to everybody that has been supporting me from the beginning as well as welcome to all my new subscribers. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, it's been a joy reading cards for everybody and I'm seeing that I'm resonating with a lot of people. Um... And that's something that uh, brings joy and makes me be proud um, about you take me taking the steps to do this. So I'm glad that I'm helping people across the world. Um, also, if you're interested in booking a personal reading with me, um, you can email me at goddessqueenjustme23 uh, at gmail.com. You can put in... Um, if you're wanting a personal reading, my readings are $25, and that's for a 20 to 30 minute reading. And again, that's $25 for a 30 to 20 minute reading. So 20 to 30 minute reading, excuse me. Um, if you didn't get my email address, you can go to my About Me information, or you can go to the description box of the um, the email of, of the videos, and my information is there too. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. So let me go ahead and cut. We already cut the cards on camera um also like i was saying this is for pisces sun moon and rising and then if you are a cross watcher and you're dealing with somebody that has strong uh water in their water well with pisces is water strong wa pisces in their chart this is also for you and then like i said if you were just guided to this video um the way that they you need to look at it as you versus them okay and you'll figure out which one is for so let's go ahead and get started. Woo wee. Boy, this is going to be a interesting reading. Okay, so we have the Five of Pentacles, which the Five of Pentacles... Pisces, what this means is that you could be feeling, you know, a little bit abandoned. Um, there could be a lack of a lack in, you know, finances. Um, you could also be dealing with some insecurities is what I'm getting from this is too as well. But there could be some mo money tr troubles or there could be a possible layoff that took place um, is what I'm getting from this too. Um, somebody could be dealing with some type of health issues. Um, but this is overall about difficulties. This is about, you know, you going through some type of emotional uh, crisis, which is giving you um, where where it's putting you to make yourself worry all the time. And this is what I'm getting for the overall energy. This is also about feeling left out. Let's say if somebody um, is in a love situation, somebody is feeling left out in a situation is what I'm getting from this too. Um, the next card that we have is the Queen of Cups. So Pisces, I'm seeing this is as you. If this is a Pisces man and you're watching this, this is also you just holding the energy of the Queen of Cups. And when the Queen of Cups comes out, this is about um, somebody being very caring, somebody being very nurturing. Um, this is about you being charming, Pisces, our Pisces man. 
Um, this is about you just having a big heart, you being honest with yourself, as well as could be a little bit psychic. There's some of y'all that are psychics, um, as well as could be uh, an empath is what I'm getting. But this is also about you just, you know, showing and expressing exactly how you feel about somebody. So I'm just seeing that a lot of y'all are in the energy of the Queen of Cups. Um, could be a little bit sensitive right now because some of y'all are feeling a bit of, of, of abandonment as well as going through some emotional um, dissatisfaction as far as money. And it's causing you to be a little bit um, over emotional is what I'm getting from that. Um, the next card that we have out is the Queen of Wands. And so possibly there is um, some Pisces mans that are possibly dealing with um, somebody that is a, you have two choices, okay? So this is just for Pisces man, or this could also be for a Pisces woman, whichever one. Um, some of y'all have are dealing with somebody else that has, y'all have two cho choices. Um, somebody that is a Cancer, another Pisces, or a Scorpio, or there is some of you that, um, and then the other choice is the, uh, a Sagittarius, an Aries, or a Leo. So somebody that is, um, watching this video is dealing with two different people. Um, you're trying to make a decision on which one you're wanting to commit to. Um, when the higher fit card comes out, this is about commitment. This is about somebody being loyal. This is about somebody being very educated as well as just, you know, overall having that divine wisdom. Um, this is also um, your belief system. So when, it, when I see this card, I'm seeing that somebody's wanting to give some type of commitment because the next card that we have is the Knight of Pentacles. And so Pisces, you could be possibly dealing with somebody that has, um, that is a Taurus because the Hierophant card is a Taurus card and then the Knight of Pentacles is Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. Somebody's wanting to give some type of offer. Um, they're wanting to uh, come in and express their emotions. But as you see, he has a little stern um, face expression, meaning like, I can't believe, you know, he's possible. This person that you're dealing with, let's say if this is somebody that was coming back from your past that is a fire sign, Pisces, um, this person, um, they now are wanting to take some type of responsibility because they know that they were the ones that caused the issues. They were the ones that was not, you know, giving the type of love offer that they were wanting to give. Um, this person possibly, like I said, was not wanting to give some type of commitment because they had two choices is what I'm getting. They had a fire sign and a water sign. Um, a choice that was options, um, that was the two options to this person. And now this person is, you know, uh, some of you Pisces are dealing with an, uh, an earth sign that came off being more um, deceptive. Um, this person, you feel like you were betrayed by this person because this person left you feeling abandoned, um, which caused you to be um, over emotional and then cause you to be, you know, more of the bitter as well as the, uh, you know, the, when the queen of wands comes out, um, in the negative aspects of the queen of wands, um, she is manipulative. She's, you know, disorganized, bitter, very judgmental, as well as overall pretending. Um, but this person is also knowing that you fought for the relationship as well. So Pisces, let's say if this is a situation and there's not two different women and this is just somebody that is a Pisces woman and the, you're, they, you carry both aspects of you possibly have water, which is you Pisces and then fire in your chart. Um, you were the one that was giving the commitment. You were the one that was always giving some type of offer. But at the same time, when he was giving that offer to this person, this person was taking everything that they got, they, that they get from you. You, and it caused you to feel like this person was more of the deceptive side and caused you to feel like you were abandoned, caused you to feel like you um, have insecurities as well as having an emotional crisis with yourself. So this is what I'm seeing so far is different situations as far mm -hmm. as, you know, different Pisces. Some of you Pisces have two different choices. Um, one of y'all are trying to make a one. Some Pisces are trying to make a decision um, to... Uh, um, which one they're wanting to give a commitment to. Some of y'all Pisces are dealing with somebody that is um, either an earth sign that has Taurus in their chart, um, or um, earth, Virgo, Capricorn, or um, Taurus. And this person um, is being more of the manipulative person to you. And they backstabbed you. Like they came in, um, kind of invested in a relationship a little bit. But at the same time, they went, they could have gave you, um, they went out and they were, it was like they were manipulating the situation and controlling it and making you 
feel like you um made you feel like you just over emotional because this person did, did it's like he, they did it on purpose is what i'm getting from this okay so let me keep moving forward Okay, so the next card that we have is the Ace of Wands. And when the Ace of Wands comes out, this is about somebody taking action. This is about somebody making some type of movement. This is also about Pisces, you gaining some type of new energy as, as well as gaining some type of new spark, some type of new inspiration. If you are a, a woman Pisces um, or even a man Pisces, this is about you standing more in your masculine energy, um, you being dominant over your feelings. I'm seeing that some of y'all are trying to dominate, you know, get get more a hold of your feelings and your emotions because you know that you are um, very sensitive sensitive and very um you know emotional right now so some of y'all are battling that you're trying to gain focus in your um emotional um like that's where the insecurities is coming some of y'all have some deep insecurities is what i'm getting from this too because these fire this fire cards is coming on top of this water sign there possibly also could be some heated arguments that have that took place this possibly could have been in a past if this is a past person pisces that's coming back from your past you and this person has a strong fire they have a strong passion for you um they also know that they invested, um, you invested in the relationship and you were possibly, possibly the one that was always fighting for the relationship. Um, this person now is wanting to surrender. They're wanting to come in. Um, now they have gained their inner wisdom as well as gain, you know, learn how to get balance their self, their dark side as well as their light side. And now this person is wanting to come back and give some type of commitment. Um, in the past, they were the one that was being sneaky. They put have been like, you were thinking like they were a thief at the, thief at night when it came to you know giving some type of commitment they would be in they would put in some type of effort but at the same time it came out like this person was just you know they could have been a little bit manipulative as well as a little bit more you know um one in, the one that was wanting to control the overall relationship is what I'm getting from this. But this person is wanting to come back. They do see you as their other half because when the temperance card comes out, this is about union. This is about soulmates. This is about a twin flame relationship as well. And now I'm just seeing that this person possibly could again went through some type of transformation because the higher fit card is the spirituality card. So they had to do some type of major healing in order for them to be able to give some type of offer. They had to let go of that that energy of that seven of of, of swords because when the seven of swords is re reversed this is about uh good advice this is about regaining and learning to trust the situation so now like i was saying if this is an earth sign you're gonna have to gain pisces um the trust of trusting this person because they did put you in some type of situation let's say if they were the one that had the, th the two options that was available to them but now somebody's wanting to surrender um the, the sagittarius card is also sagittarius so, I mean, the Temperance card is also Sagittarius. So there could possibly be uh, a Sagittarius that you feel that you want to give the commitment to Pisces, um, if, if this is a Pisces. Um, the next card that we have is the Lover. So like I was saying, somebody is wanting to come in and express to somebody about how much they love this person. Um, the Lover's card, this is also Gemini. Um, this is also about, you know, third party uh, situation. So let's say if this person was the one that put you in a third party situation because they had two different options that was available to you, to them, they are aware of that. Um, this is vice versa, Pisces, as well as cross watcher is that what they're telling me. Um, the lover's card is also um, about the divine union. This is about gaining the, the balance. And you're just seeing the, the, the cards that's coming out. This is also about, you know, somebody wanting to build a love friendship. They're wanting to have the harmony. They're wanting to have, you know, um, that there somebody's also they're saying that's coming back and it's going to be a lot of sex because there's a lot of fire in here, too. Um, and this is about sexuality. So there could be a possible fire sign um, that is a Sagittarius or a Leo or Aries um, that has Gemini in their chart that's wanting to come back. Um, and y'all, you and this person is, um, there could have been, like I said, that this, this person, um, that was the hidden deception. And now, like I was saying, um, somebody needs to learn to trust the situation. But there is somebody that wants to give some type of new offer, some type of new uh, um, 
a new commitment you possibly lit a fire up underneath this person's ass pisces or they lit a fire up underneath your your ass and now they're wanting to come back and invest in a relationship and like i was saying there could be sex and there could be uh, some form of some type of commitment so they're possibly like i said some twin flame relationships are a, a life partner relationship or a deep some soulmate connection is what i'm seeing from here too Okay, so admit your true feelings to yourself. So I was saying somebody, if this is somebody that was coming back from the past, they had to admit their true feelings. Um, they had to go through some type of spiritual, like I was saying, some type of spiritual healing. And they had to learn and gain that education. They had to take their time within their self in order for them to realize how much they really cared about you. And now they're one in their union. Now they, they're admitting to their self that they do really care about this person. And you do have a give them a fire. Like you you are their desire is what you are have always been um, the one that they have always had passion for and now they're wanting to surrender and so they had to admit this this is also pisces for you if this is you letting go of a situation um because somebody you know just you letting go overall your um let's say if you were just being over emotional pisces i'm just seeing that they're saying that you need to be more on the fire energy which makes which is more about being passionate about being confident as well as headstrong and being more ambitious um some of y'all they're saying that you are a little bit oversensitive and it's causing you to lose your amb your ambitious side and um, now that you need to surrender your emotions is what they're saying um because it's causing you to um be more of the bitter person is what they're they're telling me okay so that's for some pisces is what i'm getting from this but this is just overall just being truthful to you and then being truthful to anybody else else that's around you um, possibly there could have been a disconnection as far as this is somebody that was in your past. You and this person could have had um, not had any communication since the spring or there could have been a breakup that happened in the spring. Um, but now somebody is going to also be getting some type of new uh, fully trans like they're saying a new beginning um, with the temperance card coming out on top of the high higher fit card and this is coming out they're saying that somebody is going to go through a full uh healing transformation um and they're going to have some type of real realization that this person is really your twin flame and the spring is what i'm getting from this this is going to be the person that's been taking um, more time to um realize the connection and it possibly could be somebody that is a earth sign or somebody that has fire in their chart in the spring they're going to realize um who's really their connection um, the next card that we have is about us. It says it's an assertiveness. And this is basically saying stand up for your beliefs and only say yes if you really want to. So possibly there could have been also um, some of y'all that had different belief systems than your other counterpart. And you had to always stand up um, for your beliefs. You standing up for your belief is going to cause you to be able to get real everything that you really want. And if this is really a twin flame relationship, a soulmate relationship, I'm just seeing that um, you doing that. You always standing up for the relationship as well as standing up for yourself is going to cause you to get everything that's meant to come to you so also this is also about you saying no if this is a situation pisces are cross watcher and you see that this person is more of the deceptive side and they're trying to keep you stuck or they're con trying to you know pull a fast one on you you not saying yes to any of that you finally admit it to yourself and knowing that you need to walk away from a situation and you because the third the lover's card is also about third party situations okay so that i'm just seeing that there's some of y'all that are in a third party situations a situation and they're telling you that you need to admit to yourself that you no longer want to be in that and that's possibly the going to be the new spark of energy that's going to be the new inspiration that you're going to gain because at that time you're going to gain the strength and you're going to gain the carriage and no you're no longer wanting to put yourself in that situation okay is that's what i'm getting from this retreat so like i was just saying somebody is going to be retreating from a situation um somebody is going to no longer want to invest in a third party be it in third party situation so they're going to admit that 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 is not for them um there is it's let's say if there is somebody that's coming back from your past pisces this person is wanting to go on some type of retreat they're wanting to get away where they have some alone time where it's just you and him you and him or you and her um it's time to disconnect from the world so this is you basically you and this person having some alone time is what i'm getting from this too 
There possibly could be some of y'all that are going on a honeymoon, so y'all are getting ready to retreat from a certain situation where it's going to just be y'all. Some of y'all possibly just got married as well, is what I'm hearing from this. Um, okay, so the next card that we have is separation. So this was just basically confirming the reason why the retreat and the separation coming out. There possibly could be a separation from Pisces, somebody that has earth and possibly fire in their chart. You're wanting to separate yourself away from this person. Um But there is been, like I said, somebody that has had a separation in the spring um, or if this was a separation where you and this person just really stopped communicating in the spring. Y'all are realizing that y'all have been separating for a while is what I'm getting from this as well. So time apart from your partner is on horizon. Some of y'all have already been through the separation and because y'all had this separation in the spring and this is going to be somebody that's coming back from your past. Um, there is going to be some of y'all that uh, are dealing with still some children issues. Um, there is some of y'all that need to... Um, uh, show, express your affection to your children a little bit more is what I'm getting, what they're telling me from this too. Um, some of y'all are going to, uh, um, find out they're saying some of y'all are finding out that somebody, um, had children and that was the deception that took place is that you found out this person had a child, but your love life is being affected by children. Um, some people are uh, the reason why it took a while for them to be able to come back are some people are separating from a certain person because they want their they're going to the person that they have children with is what I'm hearing from that too. Um so okay. Visualiz okay, so with visualization being reversed, this is just basically saying that some of y'all Pisces are not in tune with yourself. Your intuition is off. Um, is what I'm getting from this too. Um, some of y'all need to, you know, start visualizing as well as using your imagination a little bit more. You focusing more on you, you manifesting the things that you want and you basically just saying, okay, I want this a universe. I want this, but just knowing if you want something, you have to take the steps in order to get it. And that's what I was seeing as far as a new inspiration. There's going to be some of y'all that's going to have a new, um, project or a new something, something, something new is going to start and it's going to give you some type of inf inspiration and you're going to learn that everything that you went through was just an experience and it caused you to be able to have that new um, confidence within yourself and some of y'all could be having getting some type of new business opportunity because the ace of wands is also about um it's about um uh, there could be like i was saying a, a new opportunity because 40 is a four which is stability so that was saying there could be a new job or a new project that's going to give you some type of new spark okay inner child so like i was saying some of y'all are having some issues as far as with your child some of y'all still need to heal some past in, uh some past uh some past pain that was in your childhood and you are not completely healing from that and they're saying once you completely heal from that it's going to cause you to be able to balance yourself and that's the reason why it's falling on top of the temperance card as well um some of y'all like i was saying is going to be separating um you possibly could have children with this person um so there's a set of you pisces that's separating from somebody that you have children with and then another Pis a part of you pisces are going to be finding out that somebody had children or they're they're staying in a situation because of a child is what i'm getting from this too but this is also about you just gaining um if you some of you pisces are healing you're going through your spiritual transformation now it's causing you to love yourself a little bit better it's causing you to have that self-respect um you possibly could be seeing a lot of butterflies is what i'm getting from this too but this is also you just being you know more on the playful side so like i was saying there's going to be somebody that's also going to be coming back um that's going to be wanting to be more playful um when it comes in when y'all you and this person retreats that's y'all being you know playful play having being playful with each other y'all are going to be more like a child possibly like pillow pillow fighting and things like that that's what i'm hearing okay so hopefully this reading resonates um if it does resonate please like my channel subscribe to my video um subscribe to my channel excuse me Subscribe to my channel, like my video, as well as leave comments, and I want to say thank you, and y'all have a great day.